Well, here is a Massey Harris 30. Of course, you can see it's a row crop. It's a tricycle front end. Missing one wheel. Got a car, uh, car rim on it right now. Uh, motor's pretty much locked up. Ain't no good. It's going to be scraps what it's going to end up being. As you can see, the poor rain and manifold seen better days. But I want to save what I can off of it. And... Uh, Restore it, fix that running board you see bent down back here. Try to fix it with hydraulics and stuff work on it. Change what needs changed and fix what needs fixed. And clean it and get it painted and restored. This used to be a, bought it at a buddy of mine's estate auction. He, he's passed away and uh, his Widow was having an estate auction. This was one of the tractors that he had that he had bought to fix and hadn't fixed yet. And I bought it without the hood and the grill. And, uh, but I ended up getting some hoods and grills with it. So I do have something to put back on it. A few dents and dings. Fairly good looking tires, but I got one rim I'm going to have to patch. As you can see, it's bad from there to there. I think I can fix the tire and hope the tire will hold up. Not 100% sure they're an oddball for an old tractor. Normally most all the old ones had 38s on it. This one's got an 11 to 34 on it, which is kind of a small tire for the for 1951, but that's what it is. It's a 51 model, Massey Harris 30. Um, a few things I've taken off been the old bath breather, which set here, bolted up here, there was a, uh, the uh, canister oil filter set here, Alter or generator starter, I pulled those few pieces off already and put them inside, so I don't know what we're going to need for sure, that motor sitting on that piece of black plastic is what's going in it, and I want to try to take this adapter plate that's bolted to the back of this continental block in this bell housing and put on that motor over there but it's going to be a little bit at a time uh, slow going but it'll be an interesting project nonetheless um, I believe the radiator I might be able to use I don't know I know it looks a little rough but it is what it is here is the reservoir for the hydraulics here return line feeding line to the pump pump mounts there and then there's a steel line that runs back to that cylinder with a valve on it and so this thing had hydraulics for cultivators and part of the cultivating rigs on it on it just on the right side of the tractor but it's here the gas tank has got um, liquid in it but I don't know if you want to call it a liquid or a tar uh, they ain't, don't appear to be any rust holes in it it's just filled up through the years through sweating and through this little itty bitty weed pole right here on top the gas calf power but i believe i can clean it uh, either ball bearings or bb's one and a bottle of dawn i think we'll clean that thing up if not i will cut a hole in the front edge of the front side of this and get in there and clean it real good and weld the front back one of the two i ain't sure which whichever one works the best i suppose but there's Always a little bit of work. And it looks like I've got patching on both sides of that rim to do. But it'll eventually get it however I go with it. And I've got a set of 38 inch rims I can get a hold of and put 38s on the back. But I'm not real sure. If somebody was interested in a set of 34s this size, I'd probably sell them and put put 38s on it but here's a start of what it looks like before I got much more done like I said I've got a few things off of it already but I believe it'll be interesting it'll be a Massey Harris 30 and uh, it'll be all pretty red and yellow like they're supposed to be and I'll give you a quick shot of my other Massey Harris it's a super 101 twin power sitting up there on the bank but uh, it's a 40 model, so I've got two from Massey Harris's, and they're 11 years difference.
so they're not quite far enough apart to be a generation apart but there's quite a bit of difference between the two of them when they're all gussied up and sheet metaled out so thank you see you later